y'all, it's Squirrel. Um, you're getting a slightly different view of my sewing room because uh, I forgot to charge my tablet, which is what I tend to make these videos on, and the cord that I have for charging it is rather short. So instead of sitting on the bed where I normally make these videos, I am sitting next to the bed, uh, and hopefully the change of lighting won't be detrimental to showing off everything. So, but uh, today we are doing an unboxing of my seven day challenge cards. Yay! Um, a lot of the designs for the seven day challenge cards that I found online were a little more ornate than I usually like, which is kind of ironic because uh, I like very funky looking nail wraps and uh, I tend to like everything like clean classic lines everywhere else. So um, I submitted this design to the home office, um, which is the kind of thing that graphic designers do. They see something they want um, and it's not quite right, so they design it themselves. Um, and I got the approval and sent them off to OvernightPrints.com to, uh, to get them printed. And they finally showed up, so yay! But um, you can see where I got the nice, clean, um, block design here with the raspberry and plum in the appropriate color coordinating uh, official gemberry colors um, and then of course I have the little block down here where the seven day challenge uh, sticker will go um, and on the back here you have the instructions they're kind of tiny so uh, I will have a blank version of this available um, for sale if anybody who is a fellow consultant wants this design um, drop me a line and I will probably be doing the uh, the print on the back in a slightly larger font but uh, since I got 500 of these for $25 on overnightprints.com because I found a really awesome coupon I will probably not be needing these for a while. Um, overnightprints.com is not in fact paying me to say their name um, on these videos, so, <laughs> but if they wanted to, I totally would not turn down the sponsorship, because I really do like their product. Uh, they use a full bleed print process, um, which, uh, if you, uh, if you don't know what a full bleed print process is, they, uh, they basically, you take your design and you put it out beyond where, uh, where it would normally print, and then it cuts into, uh, the color basically um, and if that makes absolutely no sense at all with whatsoever to you they also have this option where you can click a little button and for um, I want to say it's one or two dollars they will go through and check your design to make sure that it works with their print process uh, so I highly recommend that as well um, I also wanted to show off my nails uh, which are Renaissance which is this kind of cool uh, stained glass rainbow colored uh, nail wrap. They were um, the only rainbow nap wraps that I had in my collection um, and I really wanted to wear rainbow wraps for solidarity this week. Uh, but uh, I have ordered uh, a couple of other rainbow designs to keep in my collection for other rainbow uh, needs. Uh, there are several consultants who have gone into Nail Art Studio and who have made their own rainbow wrap designs. So if you are looking for a, uh, a, a nail wrap that is a rainbow design and something like Renaissance or Trippin is not your style, then you can totally go and check out the Nail Art Studio for those designs. I have heard a rumor that there might be some rainbow uh, special limited edition uh, wraps coming out soon, but that is just a rumor, so take that as you will. Uh, Renaissance is also the, the wrap that I'm going to be wearing in my super secret removal process video. Um, I know I'm totally telling you that it's a super secret removal process and then I put it on YouTube. So there's that. Um, I do prefer this particular removal process um, because I feel that it is a little bit gentler on the nails and uh, I have nails that tend to sheet off um, which uh, is really uh, is not good, not very good. Uh, they break quite a lot. Um, 
So, but you know, you wind up with pretty long nails. And then you wind up with something like this, where if you are rushing to clean up a mess after a toddler and uh, you pull the paper towels off of the holder and hit the wall with your thumbnail, it rips and you don't find out until you take the wrap off a week later. Um, so there's a benefit of wearing the Jamberry nail wraps. You can totally break your nail and have no clue for a whole week, um, which was nice because um, as you can see, it is cut very, very close. So it had a little time to grow out um, and I just, it hurt, but I didn't even know that it was ripped. So there's that. Um, I will also be doing a, uh, a video of the application process and both of these will be done at my in-person party which is in a week oh my gosh um, I know that there are lots of application and removal videos that are already on YouTube but a couple of people have asked to see my particular process and I completely understand wanting to see someone that you know and you trust uh, do their particular method um, but for the application video, I will be doing Kaboom for the 4th of July, which is one of my favorite wraps because it's glittery and it's got like fireworks and everything on it. Um, so that will be my patriotic nail wrap, which will be tons of fun. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And I am going to go ahead and sign off because I have... Not been getting a whole lot of sleep lately, but on the plus side, the baby did finally sleep through his 2 a.m. feeding. Yay! So uh, hopefully that will continue. So wish me luck. Bye guys.